This morning in delicious drinks, Thanksgiving is less than one week away. Can you believe it? And if you're planning to host a holiday celebration at your place, you've already planned out your menu, but what about the beverages to wash all that turkey down? Well, we've got just the guy <laughs> for it this morning. Joining us this morning, as always, is our friend, our buddy, cocktail guru himself, Jonathan Pogan. Hey, Good buddy. Morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good to it, see you It's guys. nice to have you here. We were talking earlier. Yes. Um, people have asked about the drinks that you make here on the show. Yes. This is all you. They're all my creations. Unless they're actual classic cocktails that are already out there, it's all from me. I have my mad scientist lab <laughs> down in the basement of my house. Things are bubbling away. Things are bubbling. I have test tubes and Bunsen burners and things. And is it fun <laughs> to create new drinks and taste it and go, whoa, this tastes really good? Or do you come across drinks that you're like, oh, no, no yeah, this no, is not going to work? Yeah, sometimes they don't work. But I, I try to just kind of revamp them and try to make them work. But right. Most, a, a lot of times I'll just kind of like let it go. Let it go. <laughs> All right, let's get to it because yeah. we just got a little time. Uh, you got a bunch of drinks. Let's see what we need yeah, to, so, uh, to make this. So these are drinks that have traditional uh, Thanksgiving food thrown in there as a, in the cocktail itself. Okay. So this is called my Pilgrim's Tipple. So this is a homemade... That was Tipple, by the way. This is home... <laughs> yes, Tipple. <laughs> Just is, so you know. This is a homemade cranberry sauce here. Okay. Put a couple spoonfuls in there. This mm -hmm. is some white rum. And, of course, the Pilgrims did like to have a... Well, well the Indians drank. The Native <laughs> Americans drank. But right. The, uh, you know... I don't think the Pilgrims really drank that much, but I'm going to put some white rum in there. I'm although put, we don't know that for although sure. Although we don't know that for sure. Um, <laughs> there, were some, there was some fermentation going on. So I have some freshly squeezed uh, lime juice in here, too. Uh -huh. And I'm going to give that a shake. The white, the white rum in comparison to a regular rum, what's the, is it taste? So, so the white rum has, a, well, th this particular rum has some nice earth notes and grassy notes, and I think works really well with the cranberry sauce, right. the tartness. You can definitely use a, a dark rum or a, um, a spiced rum. Those are also really nice, too. So okay. I just kind of strain that out. That looks like a little baby cocktail yeah, right does. there. <laughs> I need a sippy cup for that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, I'll just put some uh, cranberries in there. Okay, next up. Okay, kind of an odd combination. This is a turkey old-fashioned. So how did I do this? I infused some turkey bacon inside this bourbon. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. So I added that to my glass. I'm going to put some liquid smoke. Okay. This will add some smoke, A obviously. lot of people have this in their cabinets already when they're cooking yeah. steaks These are chocolate, and chocolate mole bitters. Okay. Okay. I also put a little bit of simple syrup in there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add my ice. I'm going to stir it around a little bit with a little bit of extra cranberry sauce in there. <laughs> it's all right. For flavor. Stir it. Yeah. Thanksgiving. S exactly. Stirring it around. And then strain it out, and a really, really interesting combination, I think. Turkey, bacon, old fashioned. Okay, good. All right, <laughs> next. Okay, so Thanksgiving, right? Because Thanksgiving and Hanukkah uh, are, are around the same time, right? You're stretching it, aren't you? A, a little bit, a little bit, right. Um, so I have some Sambuca in my glass. I also call this my Jewish Italian Thanksgiving. Okay. Or Thanksgiving. So Sambuca, Italian, right? Mint mm -hmm. jelly. Mint jelly? Believe it or not, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Traditional Thanksgiving, um, Manischewitz, All right. of course, right? That oh. traditional uh, sweet red wine. How classy. How classy, exactly. Always, always classy. A little bit of freshly squeezed lime juice. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm going to throw this into my shaker tin and shake it around. You really have to shake hard with that mint jelly because otherwise it's just going to congeal. Right, okay. Right? Yep. So I'm going to strain that out into my champagne flute. Put that in there. And I'm going to top it off with a Prosecco, again, another Italian ingredient. All right. And we're, not, we're not going to be able to get to all of these drinks. I know he has one more drink to go. We will, however, post them on our website. Have a great Thanksgiving. Thanks My for coming. Pleasure. Drink up. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. And if you want a full list uh, with the recipes and all of the drinks that Jonathan brought in today for your Thanksgiving celebration, we're going to post them all on our web uh, website. It's the Roadshow page, WPRI.com.